Hi, I'm Randy Heiser from Berkeley Hyundai. I'm the sales manager here, and today I'm going to show you the 2015 Hyundai Santa Fe. Santa Fe was recently redesigned. Hyundai kept with their fluidic design, which allows the vehicle to flow very smoothly from the front to the back. With the new design of the Hyundai Santa Fe, they've won many different awards and accolades, such as Motor Week gave them their Driver's Choice Award. J.D. Pound Associates ranked it number two for initial quality, and the car book made it a best bet. Santa Fe is available with a couple different engine options. You've got a 2.4, 190 horsepower four-cylinder, or you can opt for the twin scroll 264 horsepower four turbo four-cylinder. Santa Fe comes with a tremendous amount of equipment. As we step on the inside, you can see that this one is our upper end Santa Fe. So it's got fully equipped with leather interior. You've got a six-way power seat with a power recline. Going to the back seat, there's a tremendous amount of equipment too. In the back windows, you'll notice there's actually sunshades to keep the sun out of the kids' eyes. We also do even have heated seats in the back. It's a two-mode heated seat. Seats are also adjustable, so if you wanted to slide the seat forward to create a little bit more cargo space, or you want to slide it back to give your passengers a little bit of extra leg room. Walking around to the back of the vehicle, you do have a power lift gate on the vehicle. The back of the vehicle has got 71 and a half cubic feet of interior space. That's ranked very high of vehicles in its segment. One feature that I uh, like tremendously is instead of having to go to the back seat to fold down the back seats, there's actually a lever back here that you can pull and it'll fold the seat down. You can do it on both sides. Get the Dimensions audio system so you've got a great sound system in the back. On this side here, there's actually a little power outlet so if they wanted to plug something in in the back, the kid's uh, DVD player or anything, you can plug it in there. Underneath, doesn't look like there's a lot of storage, but there's a little compartment here or it actually lifts up on this side and you've got a deep well storage. This cargo cover could come out if you had some bigger items that you needed to store for a period of time. Of course, then you've got the cargo mat. It covers up everything. Moving over to this side. Again, we'll move this up. These seats do recline, so if a person wanted to recline the back a little bit, they can recline the seats. Got mat pockets on the both uh, back of the seats for storage. And again, there's another plug-in for the kids to plug in their iPhone or any electronics that they want. There's many different outlets within the vehicle for you to plug in any accessories that you may want. This vehicle does have the proximity key with the push button start. So to get in the vehicle, you simply just push the button, open up the, unlock the car, open up, and then you can enter the vehicle. Hopping in the vehicle, starting up on the, the mirror here, this vehicle's got a built-in telematic system. It's called Blue Link. Blue Link uh, can give you directions, can give you concierge service. There's even an SOS uh, button uh, for an emergency. Um, you can ask the car simply to search for best gas prices. They'll search the lowest gas prices and they'll actually send the directions from your telematic system down to your navigation system. The mirror also has a compass in it and it's got home link for three different garage door openers. Um, you can have, if you've got three garage doors or two, whatever you might need, you can actually program to the, all the different garages to the mirror. This particular one does have the panoramic sunroof, so you get a large sunroof from front to back. It does have a sunscreen too when it's closed. You can close the sunroof and you prevent the sun from coming in with the sunshade. Got a little place here to put your sunglasses. As you're moving down here, this particular one, it does have our navigation system. This is kind of your home screen or your setup screen, kind of showing you quite a few different features that you can work with um, on your navigation system. You can set the Bluetooth to your phone so you can answer your phone through the car, set up your different voice recognition, different languages, actually search for traffic to see if there's any traffic jams or accidents anywhere that may slow down your traffic. It will actually reroute your, your, uh, your, traffic or your trip for you too if there is uh, some road construction. Uh, the navigation system can be used a couple different ways. You can do it your old-fashioned way of putting in a destination, put your address, type in the address and, and send it. Or this one has a voice recognition that you can actually just push the button and tell them where you want to go and it'll actually search 
um, we'll do a Google search for you to find things on Google and download it to your, your navigation system too. So a little bit of hands-free navigation entering for yourself. This car does have a dual climate control so the passenger can set their temperature cooler or hotter than the, than the driver's side. Of course, you've got a front defrost and rear defrost. When you put your rear defrost on, your side mirrors are actually heated too, so the side mirrors will defrost. Um, cooled and heated seats, so you get the best of both worlds, warm seats in the winter and cold seats in the summer. Moving over to this side of the vehicle, the steering wheel has actually quite a few different controls on it. You can turn your volume up, you can switch your stations, you can flip from your AM, FM to your XM radio, your cruise controls on your steering wheel. There's also a couple different modes for your steering. You can shift it from a little bit more sport steering to a little easier steering. Um, like I mentioned before, you do have Bluetooth, so you can answer your phone and, or hang up your calls here. And then your voice recognition button. This vehicle also has a heated steering wheel. There's actually a button this side. I don't know if you can see that here, but it does have a heated uh, steering wheel. Now, this particular one is an all-wheel drive Santa Fe. And the all-wheel drive on this side, it's got a couple different buttons too that you can actually lock it in so it's running all power to all four tires at the same time. It does have a full function traction control. So in those uh, slippery uh, days, you're going to get uh, not only with the all-wheel drive, but you're going to get a um, the stability control and traction control system that goes along with that. Uh, moving kind of out to the outside mirrors too, this particular vehicle does have the blind spot detection. So on your mirrors, um, there's actually lets you know if there's a car that's in your blind spot, with spot when you're um, switching lanes. Uh, along with that blind spot detection, when you're actually backing up, there's going to be a backup camera that's going to show up on your screen, but it's the uh, tailgate's up right now, so it's showing the ceiling. But if we had the tailgate down, you'd actually see the cars behind you. But it also has a cross traffic alert, so if a car is coming that you can't see, the mirror will light up to whatever side that car is coming under cross traffic, which is a real nice safety feature. The Santa Fe I showed you today happened to be one of our top of the line vehicles. We do have Santa Fe's that'll fit just about everybody's budgets. We've got the Santa Fe Sport. We also do have a Santa Fe long wheelbase. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at Berkeley Hyundai or visit us at our website at berkeleyhyundai.com.